Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and if you've ever watched the channel before and you've seen me share my Mac screen, you might have noticed a couple icons in the top right of my menu bar that show some system information that you might not recognize off the bat. And so right now you can see I've got like my network traffic, my CPU usage, and my battery here, and these aren't using the default system things, and some of them aren't even available for, from the system. So how do I do this? I'm using an app called iStat Menus. I've used iStat Menus for well over a decade, and I've never really talked about it at length, but I wanted to give you an idea for what it can do and how customizable it is. So if I just like click on my network usage uh, or my network tab, um, I can see a whole bunch of information about my network. So I can see my public IP address. I can copy it to my clipboard really quickly. That's really nice. I can see some information on my Wi-Fi network. I can see network usage. You can see that I'm downloading a file right now, uh, and you can see Firefox is doing it down here. And so my usage is much higher than it has been over the past hour. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see some things in real time. So if you want to see like, is my computer still downloading the thing? You can just kind of poke your head up here and be like, okay, download at 14, 12 megabits per second. Yes, it's currently downloading. Or if it drops down to zero, you can be like, oh God, is the download done? Or did it pause? Is it broken? What's the deal? You can check on it. Kind of the same deal with the CPU. Uh, if you see it spike suddenly and you're not expecting it, you can check here to see like what's my top app in terms of CPU usage and see if it's spiking and you need to like force close that app or something. They're just nice for monitoring. Uh, and then the battery is really cool. Um, it gives you a little bit extra information compared to the uh, default one that you get on the Mac. Um, so I can see like battery health here. I've used 17 cycles on this computer. Condition is normal. This seems great. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of, uh, the basic functionality of it, but let me go into the app so you can see what we can do with it. So uh, I'm gonna do iStat menus, here we go. So I can change some stuff with like colors. So you can kind of see the CPU is green. I could make it purple or orange or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna leave it green for now. Um, I can do some other color options here. That's all fine. Um, what I really wanna do is get into the things you can control though. Uh, so if we look at like what I have up there, um, you can see here on the left, there's a couple that are checked and those are the things you saw. So CPU and GPU, uh, I've got a CPU label and then a bar chart here and that kind of lines up with what you see there. But maybe I wanna see uh, each core individually. So then I could pull in this and then drop this down. And now you can see up here, it's actually breaking down all eight cores on my computer to see which one is doing what. So that's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of other ways you can look at this, but yeah, you can kind of find the one that works for you. I'm gonna leave that there for now. If we go to the network, it's the same deal. In this case, I like to see a graph of uh, kind of what's happening and then the number for like how fast is it downloading and uploading. Um, I could make it smaller. Um, let me actually change that from an icon to NET, so it's letters just like this one is. Um, yeah, you can kind of customize this however you'd like. And then there's tons of little different things here you can change for that. So that's really, really cool. Battery power is super flexible. So with the uh, way that macOS does battery normally in the menu bar, you just always see an icon and you might see a percentage. With iStat menus, you can actually set it to different things based on the state of whether it's charging or not. So when it's charged, I wanna see nothing because my battery's at 100%, I don't have to think about it at all, just give me that space back in the menu bar. When I'm charging, I wanna see an icon with a progress bar and then I wanna see a percentage, so how full is the battery at this point? And then when I'm draining, I wanna see that same kind of thing to show me how much battery is left visually and then a time how much is left because for me, when I'm on battery, I'm mostly interested in how much time do I have left. Right now it says I have nine hours and 14 minutes, that's good information to have. If it drops really low, I need to know that so that I can get it on a charger quickly or whatever. Um, but yeah, so me, when I'm fully charged, I see nothing for the battery in the menu bar. When I'm charging, I see the percentage. And when I'm draining, I'm just on battery power, I see the time that I have left, which for me, those are all the most practical things to see. But you can totally uh, customize these however you want. Um, you could, All you do is go from this available section and you just drag them in. So maybe I wanna do shorter or smaller icons. Let me pull out these super wide ones and put in these. There we go. And now it's using less space in my menu bar and it's color coded for, um, for what's going on. So that's a really nice thing. I really, really like the flexibility with the battery one. Now, there are other things here. So you have a notification section where you can get notifications when certain things happen. So I have show a banner when my main hard drive uh, free space drops below Five or 50 gigabytes. So when I have less than 50 gigabytes left, my computer's gonna give me a notification that says, hey, you're running low on storage, and then I can take action to do whatever I need to do to delete whatever files, to offload them, 
whatever I've got going on. So that's really nice, but I can set up notifications for anything. So I can get a notification when my CPU usage gets too high or when my uh, disk space again drops below a certain number, network changes, like all this stuff. If a temperature sensor on my CPU gets over a certain temperature, I can have an alert there, battery ones, daylight savings time change. This is a cool one. So I can say like, uh, one day before daylight savings time happens, show me an alert that says um, that daylight savings time is changing. So I'm going to leave that on. Actually, that's a pretty cool thing. I like that. So that's the sort of thing you can set up notifications for. They have weather stuff. You actually have to pay a subscription for this, like a one year subscription to get kind of quicker updates. But you can show the weather in your menu bar. So if I turn this on, um, yeah, it's going to ask for my location. And I think I actually have it hidden by bartender but I should see somewhere here it is. It's updating. Oh, my weather access has expired. Okay. So I take it back. So you actually get zero weather by default. Um, so I'm going to turn that off, but you do have to pay uh, like seven to bucks a year or something or two, two fifty for updates every 60 minutes. Regardless, you have to pay extra for it, but you can get weather in your menu bar. That's pretty, pretty nice. Just not a thing that I pay for myself, I guess. Um, you can put your RAM usage in there and all the same thing is kind of with like customizing what you see is all available. You can show disk usage. So if you're concerned about seeing like how much space is on your hard drive, uh, you can throw that up there. Uh, that's going to be added to my bartender at some point. Um, yeah, it's not showing up now for some reason. There it is. Uh, so it looks like bartender takes a second to show it, but kind of the same deal is here's how much space is available on your hard drive. So you can see that in real time. I don't really find that useful to have. I just have that notification set up. Um, sensors so you can see like the temperature of specific items in your uh, computer so it defaults to your uh, CPU uh, and that would show up like this uh, but you can do any of these things in there it's pretty <laughs> pretty detailed um, you can customize the clock so if you don't want uh, Apple's clock you can do a custom one of your own and then there's this combined section where you can actually just combine these all into one element and then they're technically one element in the menu bar and you can drag them around together you can drag them around like normal items right now but you can kind of like lock them together uh, which is sometimes useful if you are having issues with them sorting correctly in the menu bar I don't really have that issue but it is definitely a thing that could happen I guess in some cases but yeah that is iStat menus it's not the most complicated app in the world but it's super customizable it really lets you see exactly what you want in the menu bar it's not something everyone needs it's definitely a superfluous thing it's not going to make you necessarily more productive but it is kind of a nice thing to kind of monitor your machine and just make sure everything's working as you'd expect so yeah that's iStat menus I'll leave a link in the description not a sponsor or anything but wanted to talk about it today so thank you so much for watching Bye-bye.